Django Fett's death scene is already rough enough as it is, but in an interview, George points out the real reason why Django died and it's brutal. If you were lucky enough to see Attack of the Clones in the cinema, we see Django isn't reacting fast enough against Windu. He has a functioning jetpack and doesn't use it to gain distance against the Jedi. George explains that after the theatrical release, he went back to edit in sparks to come from Django's back, subtly explaining that the Reek had in fact damaged his jetpack and also goes a step further to show that Django had attempted to activate his rockets when Mace got too close. But he simply didn't realize they weren't functioning until it was too late, poetically mirroring his son's mishap in Return of the Jedi. So, if you did watch the film in the cinema, Django didn't die because he was too slow or being dumb. He genuinely wanted to get away and couldn't, which makes this explicit death scene all the more gruesome. Here's George explaining it himself too. I added a couple shots actually that you'll see in the DVD and in the digital version, but not in the real version, which is that when the Reek stampedes over Django, it wrecks his rocket pack. So there's little sparks in here and everything. And now I've added more sparks in, in the film version, these shots of Django getting up and everything doesn't have sparks on it, but now they do. And you see at the very end of this sequence now, when he stands up, there's sparks there. And when Mace comes toward him, he tries to fire his rockets right there and they don't work. 